How are you? Uh, busy but blessed. God is good. Yeah, yeah, that is fantastic. Oh. Jess. I know you've just returned from Prague, but truth and the knowledge of God is under attack again, so there's no time to relax. This time you'll be going to International City, a European city-state with a strong Christian heritage. The government of this small country has been infiltrated by members of a secret order called Venom, whose ultimate goal is to take over the world and remove all references to the one true God, and they're doing it one country at a time. Now you know how important a constitution is. It forms the very foundation for national law and order. A tragedy struck 11 months ago when the International City Archives building burned to the ground and all the original founding documents, including their constitution, were lost. Our intel suggests that Venom operatives were responsible. After the fire, Venom flooded the market with counterfeit copies of the Constitution to create confusion and force the writing of a new document, one that will give them complete control, no doubt. The good news, however, is that many years ago, a man named Simon Detweiler became suspicious of certain government officials and hid one of the originals of the Constitution to keep it safe. The bad news is that no one remains who knew where it was hidden. Nevertheless, we believe certain clues were left behind. Jess, your mission will be to locate and recover the only remaining original constitution before the Chancellor, a Venom underling, can ram through a new one by the end of the week. So as usual, you won't have much time. For your team, we've selected Dresden Cole, an experienced technical specialist, and Casey McDonald, a veteran agent with our European command. You'll be meeting them at the checkpoint shortly after you arrive at an international city. Your flight leaves today at 1200 hours. Godspeed, Jess. And remember, the enemy never sleeps. Because of the top secret nature of this information, this message will self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one. Nice evening, isn't it? Yes, it is, but I hear it's supposed to get much colder. Really? Well, I'm glad I brought a warm change of clothes. Isaiah 45, 5. I am the Lord, there is no other, there is no God besides me. Amen to that. Welcome to International City. Would you care to have a seat? Thank, Thank you. you. Casey and Sarah, I'm glad to have you on this mission, and it's going to be a hard one. As usual, it's going to take all of our, f our full dependence on God and His Word. Hey, that's how we like it, right? Yes, and we're under some serious time pressure. The Chancellor has already begun work on another constitution, so if we don't find the original ASAP, it'll be too late. Does Venom know about the document? We don't think so, and we have to keep it that way, because if Venom finds out, they'll do anything they can to destroy it. And us, too. That's right, but God is our refuge and strength. We can always depend on him. So what's the plan? 
Tomorrow at 1100 hours, go to the park gate and stand. I'll meet you there after I've scanned the area for bugs. You never know who Venom might suspect. Here. Take these spy pens. They'll scan the area within 100 feet for bugs. Cool. I love new toys, especially very expensive ones. I have also dispatched Dresden to her safe house. She'll sit up and monitor things there. That works. Okay, well, let's check our receivers. Com check. Again, com check. Copy. Copy. Okay, well, you know what time it is. Time to pray, may I? By all means. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we love you, and more than anything, we want to serve you because you're the one and only true God. And now, we ask for wisdom and protection as we carry out this mission in your name. We know the evil one is working all around us, trying to destroy belief in you. Give us the strength and courage to defend your name and tell others about you. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all for now. Try to get a good night's sleep, because the next couple of days are going to be long ones. Excellent. Everything is working out splendidly. It won't be long now. Hmm. It would probably be a good idea to put police protection on this. I think I'll call headquarters. I want to make sure nothing happens before the big event. Uh, yes. This is Max. Give me the commissioner. What? An important meeting? Seriously? Listen, honey. What could be more important than a call from the chancellor? That's more like it. The nerve of some people. <clears throat> hey, Alex, I'm over here at the park where the monument is. Now I'm thinking we need some security. Uh-huh. Right. So you'll send someone right over? Excellent. Oh, but please, whatever you do, don't send me that incompetent inspector. Hello? Hello? That's all we need. How no clue got to be an inspector? I'll never know. <coughs> What? Oh, brother, I can't believe this. Monsieur Chancellor, I am at your service. Okay, no clue. Do you think it's possible you can actually handle an assignment this time? But of course. My unique skills and training will guide me as always. That's what we are afraid of. So, what would you like me to do for you? How about take a long walk off a short pier? Monsieur? We we want you to do is to guard the monument. We're planning to unveil it tomorrow. In the meantime, we don't want anything to happen to it. Do you understand? Yes. You want me to guard the monument and make sure that nothing happens to it. Exactly. Do you think you can do that? But of course. My training will uh, serve me well for this. Yeah, well, surprise us. Ah, uh, no, no, thank you. I was uh, just looking. <laughs> well, I see. Honey, did you get a close enough look? E yes, I think so. Uh, lovely day we're having, no? Are you sure you wouldn't like to buy some flowers? Yes. Yeah. As far as you know, we have some beautiful things. Uh, yes, I'm quite sure, thank you. I mean, I'd, I'd like to, but, uh, you know, I am on duty. I am guarding the you know what. <sighs> Must I explain everything to you? The monument! Oh, what monument? You know, that one over there behind it. 
singing. <laughs> oh, you mean that thingamajig over yonder? It's part of the celebration, isn't it? Well, don't let me bother you. I'm sure you're very busy. Oh, uh, but of course I am, as you know. An inspector? <laughs> What's your name? No clue. No, no, it is no clue. It is a short O, oh, you see? <laughs> Very nice to meet you, Inspector of Nakhlu. <laughs> My bucket! Yes? You ruined it. Uh, well, what is one little bucket when it comes to official police business? Here, let me help you. It is a priceless antique. Uh, you mean it was a priceless antique. <laughs> now I insist, let me help you. Inspector, please. I can manage quite well on my own. But are you sure? Yes, very, very sure. Now, aren't you supposed to be uh, guarding the monument? What monument? <laughs> eh, hey, right, it's the monument, but of course. Listen, if you ever need anything else, here is my car. <laughs> I know just where to put this. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> As Daddy would say, that feller's got two sandwiches short of a picnic. <laughs> Madam, do you, are you aware that, what was that law again? Oh yes, city ordinance 253471B strictly prohibits loitering in a public place that is a nuisance or a threat to safety. But we were just looking at the monument. Hmm, and what, may I ask, is so fascinating about it? We were just wondering what's under there, that's all. Hmm. You wouldn't be tempted to peek, now would you? Peek? Yes, that is what I said. Because they do not allow peeking without a permit! Oh, don't worry, officer. You don't worry. We wouldn't dream of peeking without a permit. We can certainly wait until tomorrow. That is when the unveiling is, right? Maybe yes, maybe no. That is none of your concern. What do you mean? It's a public event, isn't it? It's a beautiful day, is it not? I'm enjoying the weather, aren't you? Hiya! Whoa, officer, take it easy! Madame, no, monsieur, ma you! I must inform you it is highly dangerous to sneak up on an officer of the law. Lucky for you, my friend. I am a professional and was able to restrain myself. Well, then I'll make sure to be much more careful next time. Yes. I would suggest that you do. Maybe we should just move along. I believe that would be best. Oh, that looks like a nice shop. Let's go check it out. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. And it is not officer. It is inspector. All clear? Clear as glass. How about you? Yep, nothing suspicious. Now the mission begins. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody was here. May I help you? Actually, we're here to help you. <laughs> well, thank you, but I don't need any new employees right now. Maybe y'all could check back around Christmas time? Oh, no, you don't, don't understand. We're the truth force, and we're here to save the national city. You have been praying, haven't you? Praying? Oh, well, of course I've been praying. I pray all the time. I knew it. All it takes is for someone to start praying, and then sooner or later, at just the right time, we get called up. Are y'all angels or something? No, just defenders of the truth. So ever the truth and the knowledge of the one true God is under attack, that's where you'll find us. Mrs. Potts, we're here to talk about Simon Detweiler. How do you know my name? Oh, we know all about you. Born and raised in Alabama, two years of culinary school in Paris, 
met your husband, moved to International City, and you've been here ever since. You've got three daughters, two cats, and one very old parent named General Lee. Oh, but your information is safe with us. We're the good guys. And I'm supposed to just take your word for it? Is that right? Well, uh, you could check our website. We've got a statement of truth and lots of endorsements. Well, sorry, sweetheart. It's going to take a little more than that. My mama didn't raise no fool. Mrs. Potts, I'm sure this does seem very strange to you. And I'm sorry if we came on too strong. Do you have a place where we could sit down and talk? I'm sure after you hear our story, you'll feel a lot better. Well, all right. I suppose I could hear what y'all have to say. Come on inside. Y'all like sweet tea? And we'll be real careful with these diaries, Mrs. Potts. I know you will, sweetheart. Oh, and if you need anything else, just holler. No more of this Mrs. Potts stuff. My name's Flora, but y'all can call me Flo. That's what it's gonna be from now on, you hear? All right, Flo, it's a deal. Hey, Flo, you said that you and some others were playing for, praying for International City. I just wanted to say, don't stop. I have a feeling that the next couple of days are gonna be critical for the future of this place. Oh, don't you worry. We won't. I just can't wait to tell the ladies that, y'all. Well, uh, we appreciate that, but for now, we need you to keep this strictly confidential. Yeah, because if the enemy catches one of us, our mission will be compromised. All right. Not a word to nobody. Thanks, Flo. We'll keep in touch. No, thank you. I'm just so grateful for what y'all are doing. I have a really good feeling about those uh, diaries. Yeah, me too. I mean, can you believe it? She just happened to be restoring the bindings right when we showed up. If we had shown up a day later, they'd be back in the museum under lock and key. So what do you think's under there? Well, according to our intelligence, a statue of the chancellor. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? It's really sad. It's like in the Bible when all those who knew God abandoned him and started serving other gods. Yeah, people start to take God, man's word over God's. The authority of God's word, it's so important, isn't it? If you get that one wrong, you're in for a heap of trouble. That's what I'm afraid for for International City, trouble. Any, any second, the chancellor could announce for a new document, or a new constitution. And if the new constitution goes through, any rights that Christians had to pray and worship God will be gone forever. Well, then we can't let that happen, can we? Sure a good thing that Mr. Detweiler was wise enough to hide an original, original copy of the document all those years ago. Yeah, we just have to find it. Hey, I've always loved scavenger hunts. Uh-oh, I'm getting a warning signal. Stand firm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If it isn't the International Spy Academy Truth Force. And just in time to watch the last piece of the puzzle fall into place. Baylock, I should have known that you had something to do with the trouble here. Trouble? I guess that depends on your perspective. I don't see any trouble. I think things are getting better and better all the time. In fact, you are about to get rid of all that God stuff. Nobody's going to be listening to the Bible any longer. I hear people are just gonna be throwing them away. People are learning they just don't need God. Well, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, aren't you guys with the ISA? What are the cool weapons? The weapons that we fight with are not weapons of the world. We fight with the arm of God. Truth, the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness. The shield of faith, the helmet of salvation. With God on our side, we're ready for the battle. We're doing what Jesus told us to do right before he went to heaven. Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 18. The Gospel Commission. Ha! Whatever that means. Uh, I don't know why you're here. There's nothing you can do now. Everything's in place. You're just too late this time. Unless you've come to help us celebrate. Ha ha ha! 
Do you really think that our God, whom we serve and is all-knowing, cannot stop whatever you have in mind if he chooses? Well, it doesn't look like he so chooses this time, does it? Oh, well, you can't win them all. Better luck next time. Ha, 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 ha. Had to erase his short-term memory. We can't let Venom know we're here. Boy, what a sweetheart. I know, with a 160 IQ and a Masters of Disguise, we'll have to be much careful with him around. Evil Villain Network? Yep, he's been with EVN for a long time. They're obviously in cahoots with Venom, so that probably means they're, they're true. <laughs> the city is infested with their agents. Maybe we should call pest control. What we need to do is find that document. Let's get back to the safe house and check out those diaries. job. Inspector. And I thought Granny was a sound sleeper. What are you Just trying to wake you up is all. Wake me up. Madam, are you implying that I was sleeping? Well. Because Inspector Nakhlu never sleeps while he's on the job. What about the snoring? Snoring? Madam, I must inform you I'm a highly trained professional. Is that so? Yes. You know, not just anyone can do this. Hmm. Your training is important, yes, but it takes a little more than that. You really have to be born with unique skills like mine. Say, I noticed that you don't have a weapon. Why is that? Oh, they took it, I mean, um... When you have hands like these, you don't need a weapon. These hands are far more deadly than anything you could possibly imagine. Mm-hmm. Here, let me show you. And see this table? I am going to break it in half. Watch very closely. Hiya! Ah. should get on home. Good night, Inspector. Hello? Who is there? Identify yourself. I order you in the name of the law. Hello? Who is there? No way, I could.
Any word from Dresden? Nope, not yet. What you reading? Oh, we've just been memorizing verses about God and studying his attributes. And you know what? He is absolutely beyond amazing. I know. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He is eternal. I know. He never changes. He has no beginning and no end. I know. He, he, is al he has always existed. I, I am, am who I am. am. Exodus, Exodus 3.14. 3, um, you know what? Really gives me encouraged. Oh wait, yeah. No. He, yeah, he never makes mistake. Just, yeah, he never makes a mistake. I mean, what can I say? He's just awesome. I know. And then there's his love, his purity, his faithfulness, his love. You can go on and on forever. I'm just so thankful to be his child. It makes me want to serve him with everything I've got. I know. Me too. And you know what? It really gives me courage on assignments like this. I mean, what is there to fear? If our all-powerful, all-knowing, all-eternal God is for us, who could possibly be against us? Nobody, Casey. Nobody. Dresden's in place. Time to go. Let's roll. Good morning. May I help you with something? Well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. So this is for a special occasion then? All clear. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Uh, it's okay, honey. I'm just not used to all this spy stuff. How'd you get in there anyhow? Trust me, you do not want to know. By the way, there's a leak in your toilet. Well, that's lovely. And you're right, I do not want to know. I'm just glad y'all are on our side. So, Flo, we studied the di diaries last night, and there's no doubt that an original document does exist. We just don't know where. We also found this stuffed in one of the diaries. And since it's sealed, we wanted you to open it. Since you're with the Historical Society. Aw, oh, bless your heart. It looks pretty old. I hate to open it. It might contain a clue. Well, why didn't you say so? I guess not. It's blank. Strange. Why would someone seal up a blank piece of paper? Wait a second. Maybe it's not blank. Let's look at it through the truth force scope. Hmm. You're right. What's it say? Let Grace lead you. What do you think that could mean? Well, what do we know about Grace? It's an attribute of God, but it could also be a name. What is it, Flo? Well, it might be a long shot, but Grace was the name that Sarah Edwards gave herself. She was Simon's great aunt on his mama's side. Her daddy was one of the founding fathers. Wow, Flora, I, I'm impressed. What can I say? Flowers and family trees are my thing. What do you mean when you said Grace was the name she gave herself? I don't understand. Well, you see, Sarah was fascinated with names. She particularly liked the name Grace, probably because she was a devout Christian. So to her family, she was Sarah Grace. Let Grace lead you. That was clever of Simon to use that as a clue. You know, there's a painting of her in the museum. <gasps> Simon donated it right before he died. That's it, that's got to be it. We'll need to examine the painting. Well, I can get you through the door and show you where the painting is, but you're on your own from there. I've been a member for years, but I just can't waltz in there and start taking stuff off the walls. No sirree. Don't worry. You can leave that part to us. Well, it looks like we got some planning to, to do. Thanks, Flo. Okie dokie. We'll keep in touch. What a beautiful sight. My masterpiece in the center of the big city. Francois, you have made it. Picasso, Van Gogh, 
Da Vinci, Monet, Anna, Francois Parfait. That will be $25, please. What? $25 for the flowers. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart, I ain't giving out free stuff today. Here. <laughs> no returns. Sorry, store policy. It is obvious that you did not know who I am. <laughs> Maybe not, but you still owe me $25. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, and next time, stop by the cash register. <sighs> store policy. Boom. Francois, parfait. I was hoping you'd come. Oh, good day, monsieur. We're all looking forward to seeing your work. You mean my masterpiece? Especially the chancellor, if you know what I mean. Wait, what did you say? I said my masterpiece is not just a work, it's a masterpiece. Oh, well, excuse me. A little snooty today, aren't we? What did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Sounded like you said a snooty. Oh no, monsieur, he had nothing but the highest respect for you and your marvelous work. I mean, masterpieces. And so we've been guarding the monument very carefully. So, how did it turn out? Really? I, I mean, was it there. actually look like the chancellor? But of course, what did you think is a perfect resemblance. I can't wait to see it. Francois, would you be so kind as to sit here beside me? I would like to introduce you during my speech and you also be close to the monument when it's unveiled. Merci. Where's that ridiculous inspector? He's supposed to be here. Just wait till I get my hands on, hello? Yes, this is Max. I'm over here at the monument and no clue is nowhere to be found. What do you mean no one knows where he is? He's probably stuck at a stop sign waiting for it to say go. N no, we can't wait any longer. Uh, when you find him, just tell him the Chancellor has a big surprise for him. Ridiculous, we gotta get this show on the road. Is everybody ready? Strike up the band. Sorry, frog in my throat. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are proud to welcome you to International City's birthday extravaganza, celebrating, celebrating 200 fabulous years. To begin our festivities, and it is our distinct pleasure to introduce to you a man of action, a man of purpose, a man who embodies everything a citizen of International City should be, our beloved, amazing, and brilliant three-term chancellor, Max Devlin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, you are too kind. Thank you very much for that warm welcome. It has been such a pleasure to be your chancellor for these many years. We've come a long way together, and I think you'll agree that what we are becoming is even better than what we have been. International City has a wonderful history, but a brighter future. And now we have the opportunity to take a, a major step in that direction. I am pleased to announce that a small group of qualified individuals is now in the process of creating a new constitution for our beloved country. Oh. 
Gone forever will be the restrictions and superstitions of the past. Trust me, this is the best thing for our future together. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. For quite some time, it has been my dream to have a monument designed and placed in the center of town that would immediately become the, the pride of International Sea. Today, it is my pleasure to unveil such a monument, but I would be remiss if first I didn't introduce to you its creator who is with us this afternoon, the famed artist and sculptor, Francois Parfait. Please give him a warm International Sea welcome. Francois and I have been working together for many months on this sculpture erected here in International City Park, which we have proudly named International Treasure, a treasure which is none other than your loyal and beloved oh. Inspector! What? I can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> now, if you have any desire whatsoever to keep your job, tell me what happened to the statue. But it is a mystery to me as well, monsieur. I was just standing there doing my duty as a sworn officer of the law guarding this monument and suddenly, bong! I don't know, I just, yeah, I got hit on the head and I don't remember anything after that. Beautiful, just beautiful. So you didn't hear anything and you didn't see anyone. That is correct. Good work, no clue, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that name of yours is perfect. Monsieur, am I to understand that you are not entirely pleased with me right now? Let's just put it this way. I'm giving you just 10 seconds to get out of here and find my statue. Oh, Monsieur Chancellor. Not even the great inspector Nocleu could find your statue in 10 seconds. Get out of here and find my statue! Okay, I'm back. Everything go okay? Sure did. I used to do retail, so it was kind of fun. Thanks for helping us out. Oh, you're welcome, but I didn't do much. I just got him in, showed him where the painting was, and that's all. I just really hope the painting's okay. Don't worry. Jess will take good care of it. He knows what he's doing. I hope you're right. It's kind of exciting, though. Felt like it's on a real spy movie or something. I know what you mean. Hey, this is off the subject, but I noticed that I was wondering about yeah, I was wondering about the cross you have by the register. It's really neat. Did you make it? Yes, ma'am. It's a vacation Bible school craft I made when I was 10. That is very important to me, you see, because I made it the exact same day I asked Jesus to be my savior. Wow, so you became a Christian at VBS? So did I. Yep. I used to think you just had to be a good person to get into heaven. <laughs> but honey, that's man's idea. God never said that. Yeah, that's what most people think. They think they don't understand that there's only one way, and that's to trust in Jesus, the own, only in Jesus, to save you, not your good works. We just have to keep spreading the news. That's all. We have to help people believe in the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I better check in with Jess and see what's going on. Oh, and could you do me a favor? Ask him how the painting is. Hey, how's it going over there? It's okay. Uh, Dresden's, um, stand, Dres, Dresden's standing guard in the hallway with a mop and bucket. Any clues at all? No, not yet. I'm going to flip it over and check the back. We can't have them. Uh-oh, we've got company. You gotta hold them off. I need, I need more time. Okay, I'll try to lose them. 
Uh, sorry, sir, this room won't be ready for a while. We just got started here. Sorry for the inconvenience. Whew, that was a close one. We've got to wrap this up. Hey, we gotta go. The Chancellor's here. Could be a problem. Good evening, sir. Can I help you with something? No, thanks. We're already being helped. Oh, wow, those are beautiful, but uh, before you give those to him, I gotta double check the order. Uh, what? Do you mind? It'll only take a moment. That's fine. Go ahead. What's the trouble? We'll need your help. Uh, but, uh, shh, I don't understand. What's he, What's he doing here? He's just picking up an order of flowers, why? We've got to be careful, Flo. Things are critical right now, and the forces of evil are poised and ready. Did he ask any unusual questions? No. Has he ordered flowers before? Sure, lots of times. He usually sends over his page, but sometimes he comes over himself. He just really likes flowers is all. Nothing wrong with that. Well, okay then. Maybe it's nothing. Wait before you give those to him. What are y'all fixing to do? Shh, it's a bug. It'll allow us to be, hear what's being said over there. Wow, a real spy gadget. Y'all so cool. Okay, go ahead. Well, Mr. Chancellor, you better be on your best behavior. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, be sure to come back real soon. Hmm, <clears throat> seems like nice fellers. Don't be fooled by appearances. What were they doing here? Just picking up some flowers. Are you sure that was all? I think so. I guarantee there was nothing else to it. We bugged the bouquet. Okay, good, that'll give us some valuable information. So, this is what I got. Wait, before you get started, I just need to know, how's the painting? Oh, it's fine. Oh, what a relief. All I did was open- Open? What do you mean, open? All I did was open the slit and- Slit? You cut the painting? Oh, mercy, mercy, no. Uh, 22 years of my membership, down the drain. <laughs> no, I assure you, the painting's fine. On the back side, where there's a brown paper, there was a slit that was glued. All I did was open it. That's it? That's Just it. the brown paper? Nobody will ever notice. Are you sure? I'm positive. <sighs> Sorry to upset you. It's all right, honey. I just need to catch my breath. <sighs> Okay, so back what I found. I found this behind the paper, or behind the brown paper. Moses Kenton, or it's a riddle of some sort. It says, Moses Kenton at the, at the archive where the walls meet, 305. Whoa, one more time. Moses Kenton and the archive where the, where the walls meet, 305. Any thoughts? Yeah, sure seemed like Simon could have made it a tad bit easier. It was obviously meant to protect the document. Well, I don't know a Moses Kenton, but I do know that from the flower shop all the way down to where the archives building used to be at the park was called the Kenton Row. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of, the archive building. The, it, could the address have been 305? Well, I know the flower shop is 379, and over yonder's the 200 block. Wait, are you suggesting that Simon may have hidden the document in the archives building? Well, when you put Kenton uh, the, in an archive, and then 305 together, you see what I mean? Hmm, so the document may no longer exist? It's what it looks like. Ha ha ha! There's nothing you can do now. Everything's in place. You're just too late this time. Too late this time. Too late. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, it was that guy from EVN. Must have planted a discouraging thought somehow. I didn't hear nothing. It's okay, Flo. It was meant for us, not you. Well, all I know is if the document was destroyed, then why is the truth force here? No, I believe God sent you here for a reason, to save International City. And as my daddy used to say, God never makes mistakes. You're right, we can't get discouraged. Let's get back to the safe house and, and dissect this riddle. I'll be praying from here. That's the best thing you can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Jesus, love me this sun. Hmm. How much wood would the wood shock shock if a wood shock could shock wood? That is a stamper. Let me think about this. Um, oh, I've got it. A wood shock would shock as much wood as a wood shock could shock if a wood shock could shock wood. I think I've earned a little reward, no? Ah, refreshing. What? What do you mean my mic is on? It is not. See the green light? Oh. Designs these things. Uh, Don't worry about it. Just read over it. Citizens and visitors of International City. My name is Inspector Nochlu, and I come to you today to discuss a very, very serious matter: the theft of our monument. Please rest assured we are doing everything we possibly can to find it, using the latest science, technology. Biology, zoology, uh, uh, <clears throat> and other big words like that. Uh, now, what do we know at this point? Number one, a statue has been stolen. Number two, someone has stolen it. And number three, we do not know who it is. Cases of this sort can be extremely challenging. However, because of my unique skills, training, and experience, I have often failed, but others have not. <laughs> so, as you can see, you should have complete confidence that this case is in good hands. Why are you looking at me that way? What is your name? Mm, your voice, it sounds... Familiar. Do not leave the city. And you? Where were you on that fateful night, huh? At VBS. Ah, likely story, VBS. Don't feed me that line. Do not leave the city. As a matter of fact, none of you leave the city. You are all under suspicion. <clears throat> Thank you very much, and have a nice day. You've got to be kidding. You mean to tell me because of a police convention, no clue is the only inspector we have right now? This is unbelievable. I hate to ask, but um, how long is this convention? A week? You mean I have to put up with this nonsense for an entire week? I might as well just do the investigating myself. You know, that's not such a bad idea. Aha! What do we have here? It is a well-known fact that a thief will often return to the scene of the crime. At least I think I read that somewhere. Anyway, now, mystery person, you will not get the better of me this time. Aha! There you are! <laughs> Stop struggling! And 
entendió? A mí es mí. So, my seeming little friends, what do you have to say for yourselves? Do not use that tone of voice with me, monsieur. You are only getting a case of your own medicine. Now you know how it feels to have your mouth taped shut. Just wait until they take it off. Come with me. Max, you're not usually early to our meetings. Is there something wrong with you? Indeed. You're not usually early <laughs> to our meetings, Max. Is the document ready? He's right there. Something's wrong with you today, Max. What? Well, it's a big day for me, and I've got a lot to do. Besides, it's rude to keep people waiting, don't you think? Perhaps, but I thought something was wrong with you. Man, you scared me. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. Something just seems different about you. Something wrong? Is there something I should know? No, I just don't want to be seen by anybody. Well, relax. Soon you'll be a dictator and you won't have to pretend anymore. So, is the document ready? New constitution? Yes, it's ready. Just finished it late last night. Excellent. The takeover of International City is soon to be completed. Everything is working out precisely as planned. Everything except for the incident with the statue. I know, that was disappointing, but I must say, your Francois Parfait masquerade was excellent, and that French accent, superb. Enough about Parfait. Have you located it yet? No, our investigation just started. Investigation? Ha! Come on! You know that pathetic inspector of yours will never find it. I want that statue, Max, and I want it now. Why is it so important? You know very well why it's so important. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong. I just think you'll send the wrong message. That's all. I'm supposed to serve the people, not rule over them. Max, I don't like what I'm hearing. Well, guess what? You're not going to like what you see, either. Who is this? The toothbrush? Yep. How dare you? Take him away, gladly. <sighs> You'll pay for this! No, Baylock, it's you who will be paying, and for a long, long time. Have a nice day. One down, two to go. He's never late. Waiting for someone? Yes. Hmm. Can I help you with something? Oh, it's just that, well, you look awfully familiar. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm not from around here. Really? Because the resemblance is amazing. You know, I hate to be rude, but I'd really appreciate it if you minded your own business. He's not coming, you know. What? Who's not coming? Baylock. How do you know that name? Yeah. 
What's going on? Who are you people? We're the Truth Force. The what? We're the Truth Force, and we're here to save International City. Save International City from what? From creeps like you, Mr. Devlin. Max and Sam Devlin, you are under arrest for conspiracy and intent to commit treason. This is outrageous! You don't have anything on me! Where's our lawyer? Inspector? Yes, Commissioner. No clue. I'm going to get you. I got him. Let go of me. Control yourself, Mr. Devlin. Monsieur Chancellor, I must apologize about last night. If I had known that it was you that I was punching and kicking, I would have stopped immediately. You know, you really should have said something. How could I, you numbskull? You take my mouth shut. Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry about that. Inspector, I would like you to handcuff both Mr. Sam and Mr. Max Devlin, then take them down to the station and book them. <laughs> That's funny, I thought you said Mr. Devlin and Mr. Devlin. I did say Mr. Devlin and Mr. Devlin. Monsieur Chancellor. Don't you touch me, no clue. The former Monsieur Chancellor and his assistant. I'm sorry to report that this person who is elected to serve the people of International City has instead been involved in a wicked scheme to enslave them. And it would have worked, too, if it wasn't for the truth force. Go ahead, Inspector. Former Monsieur Chancellor, it brings me no pleasure to place you under arrest. But as an officer of the law, it is my sworn duty to do as I am told. It's not pity, no clue. It's a relief. No clue. Oh. Oops. Incompetent. Uh, my, my key is in my pocket. Could you help me? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let, let me, let me uh, try that again. Take him away. Yes, sir. You'll pay for this! Why do the bad guys always say that? Here's the document I was telling you about. It's the only remaining constitution for our international city. And we thought they were lost in the fire. You know, I've been suspicious of the Chancellor for quite a while, but I never could find any hard evidence. Then, thanks to you, we were able to listen in on their meeting last night, and that was all the proof we needed. I don't know how to thank you for what you've done. You've saved International City from a plot that's been in the works for a long, long time. Don't give the glory to us. Give the glory to God. He's the one that did it. We just carried out the mission. Then to God be the glory, and may we be better stewards of our freedom. Thank you, sir. So, where will you go next? Well, there's a great ra well, sir, there's a great controversy raging everywhere. So all I can tell you is, wherever the truth and the knowledge of the one true God is under attack, that's where you'll find us. Well, then I hope you have to never come this way again. But if you're ever looking for a vacation spot, you're always welcome in International City. Thank you, sir. Well, I declare that sure was something. It has been a long morning, hasn't it? <sighs> All right, I've waited long enough. How did y'all find the document? Oh, it's so cool, Flo. You're going to love this. See, what cracked the case wide open was when we discovered that Mr. Kenton's first name wasn't Moses. Now, I thought that sounded kind of funny. In fact, the name Moses doesn't show up anywhere in his genealogy. So that's when we realized there's more to this riddle than we had first thought. So you remember the riddle where um, Moses, Kenton, and the archive, where the walls meet, 305. While we were analyzing the order, the computer did a funny thing. It put Moses and 305 together and Kenton and Corner together. Corner? That wasn't in the riddle, honey. That's what we thought, but where do two walls meet? <gasps> A 
at the corner, and Kenton and corner do go together. Mr. Kenton built the flower shop on the corner. You mean the document was under our noses this whole time? Hold on, we're not there yet. Okay, so at this point we know that the document, or the archive as Simon called it, is somehow connected to the flower shop. But where? That's when, when? Now to Moses and 305. So what do we know about Moses? He wrote the first five books of the Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That's what we thought the five referred to. And then when you number the first books of the Bible, you get Genesis 1, Exodus 2, Leviticus 3, and Deuteronomy 5. Which one's missing? Well, that's easy. Numbers. Bingo. So that is when we asked permission to remove your address stone. Because we thought that Simon might have hit the document behind the numbers. <gasps> well, shut my mouth, it was here the whole time. Yep. Uh, I just can't believe y'all figured it out. You're so good. <laughs> Hello? Yes, it was close. But God, God gave us this mission. God gave us this mission. Uh-huh. Yes, we got Baylock. Thank you, sir. Yes, I'll have the file ready for you as soon as I arrive. Okay, thank you. I wonder what they're gonna do with the monument. Well, what's left of the monument? Well, one thing's for sure, they'll stop searching for the missing statue. <laughs> we need a statue of Max Devlin like we need a hole in the head. What is it, Case? Mm, Jess, could you go up there? Sure, but why? I just, I don't know. I've got an idea. Just be careful. Hmm, I think I know what you got in mind. Do you really? Yep, I got it from here. <gasps> That's amazing. It's beautiful. This is a perfect way to end our mission. Now perhaps the people of International City will re rega begin to regain the beliefs and values that they had lost. Mark 12, 30. And you shall love the Lord your God with, with, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. That's the first commandment. Aren't we so blessed? to have God, our all-powerful Savior, on our side. Satan will never win the great controversy. And look, there's more. The cross with the words international treasure. And you know what? It's perfect because when you think about it, God is the treasure of the whole world. You're right. And how fitting for it to be standing in the middle of the city. And in the same way, God should be the very center of our lives. So what about you? Do you love him? Do you love our great and awesome God? Yes. The God of the Bible? Do you treasure him more than anything else? Yes. Jesus said that the first and greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And isn't that what he deserves? After all, he is the one and only true God who, who loved us so much that he didn't even spare his own son but gave him up for us all. How'd you like the play? That's good. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna have closing prayer now. So let's borrow, bar, bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath that you've been giving us. Lord, thank you for um, all the drama team and all the staff also that helped us put on an awesome VBS week and help 
us all to learn that we are secret agents for your uh, kingdom and glory and help us just to be able to help others to find you and just send us on the missions that you want us to go on uh, every day and just help us to stay safe, to stay safe on our way home and going back to our lives and doing whatever we're going to do. And Lord, just please help us to never forget you and what you've done for us and have us all have a good day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.